Hey everybody, this is Adam checking back in with you all. It's probably been, let's see, I'm on my, finishing up my fourth week, kind of. The uh, Tuesday will mark fifth week of um, post-VSG surgery. So, uh, I'm still alive and vertical, obviously. And um, I I've, uh, haven't had any um, real big surprises of any sort. I've been trying to just basically learn uh, what I'm supposed to be doing uh, with this VSG and, and kind of what I mean by that is uh, trying to learn what my full signal is. Uh, but I'll get into that here in a little bit. Um, as far as numbers are concerned, I haven't really, uh, I haven't really done a, haven't done a, a, a real thorough job with, you know, like a lot of you folks do or Last week I was this way, this week I was this way, and I lost a total of such and such. Um, but I figured the overall number is um, will suffice for now, and then I'll, I'll get on a rhythm. But uh, anyways, when I first started this whole journey, um, and probably my heaviest weight, I was about 282. So, uh, and today I weigh, well, I stepped on the scale this morning, it said about 239, which is great. Because I've been stuck in the 240s for like 14 or 15 days. Um, it's been stuck somewhere between 240 and 245, but, um, I, you know, I anticipated that through everybody's videos, very common, um, I didn't weigh a lot during that process, um, I do use the Wii, it's like a Wii Fitness Plus to weigh, which is actually pretty accurate, um, you know, surprisingly, so I use that, and, uh, been, you can follow it, and it's got the graph, and then I have a, um, an app on my uh, iPhone that I can also plug in my numbers and it shows you the graph. And then of course I've been um, doing actually a fairly good job of putting uh, my nutrition, my foods and stuff on, on uh, MyFitnessPal. So I've been keeping, keeping up with that um, has been helpful. Um, I have a goal set like at 850 calories. Seldom do I reach that. Uh, it has been, I have found that it has actually been um, like a, uh, quite a task to actually be able to eat enough calories in the day because you know when you wake up I try not to drink anything at first because I go and I get my meal um, you know I don't I don't feel hungry like I, I, I did previously but I, you know my stomach is very it's like it's uncomfortable in a way and then once I eat that uncomfortability goes away so um, I'm on Nexium for my um, um, reflux that I have and um, it, it does a, a phenomenal job of keeping it to nothing. I mean, I have no breakthrough reflux at all. Um, I do that on a daily basis, so I don't see that being reflux. It's actually, to me, it's very well taken care of. I did miss one day where I didn't take my Nexium and I paid for it. Uh, not excruciating, but very, very uncomfortable and, and hot, burning, you know, sensation that just was not comfortable for my sleeve. But anyways, I've been having a difficult time trying to fill up the calories because, like I said, I get up, I eat, and then i got to wait 30 minutes, and I try to drink, 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 and recover from that. And then I uh, actually will um, have to wait 30 minutes again, you know, to eat. And um, my portions aren't real big, so I'm eating two, three times a day, uh, if not a lot of snacking uh, in between. When I was at work, I had some... Uh, mashed potatoes and gravy when I was able to stomach that I had some mashed potatoes and gravy just a real small amount but I eat till I was full or till I felt like I was pretty full uh, which is interesting because now I feel, feel full and just like in a straight line it's, it's kind of neat but you know it probably curved but to me it feels like straight line full instead of all across here full is what it used to be like it would always be puffed out right here and, and quite full but um so now it's just kind of on the side which is neat but I eat that and then about uh, uh approximately four hours later I went back to have a little bit of um, uh, tuna because, you know, mashed potatoes and stuff are great, but it gives you no protein and it gives you like a buttload of carbs um, and it skyrockets my carb uh, count for the day, which, um, you know, when, when I could just tolerate those kind of things was, was, was you know, okay. But now I'm trying to, to um, get off of the, the carbs and then put in more of the proteins. Uh, so things like that, I was I, I couldn't get my tuna in. See that day, I, I could barely eat a little bit. I was just stuffed again. So you know, the potatoes just sat in there for a long time. And I know they're a pretty dense, you know, food. Even when they're chewed up and stuff, it's pretty heavy and dense, at least for me. But um, I was pretty surprised by that. Uh, it's great that I stayed full, but at the same time, um, I wasn't able to get in um, a lot of calories. That's getting better. Um, I'm seeing myself be able to eat, eat, eat better and, and pick up the four ounces. 
I've been sticking to the um, two ounce of meat kind of a rule to where um, I wouldn't put, or, you know, I'm eating chicken, which is, is wonderful to be able to go back to being able to chew meat. And if you're a meat person, you really realize how much you miss the meat. So when you come back to it, it's, it's, it's it tastes wonderful. So anyways, I've been able to chew meats, but I only go about two ounces at a time. And then I, and I add, add other foods. Um, I'm trying to get vegetables pulled back in. Um, I've heard that uh, stay away from corn for a little while because of the tough outer skin of the of the kernels. And um, same thing with broccoli. Broccoli and celery are very fibrous kind of a food, so I try not to mess with them. But I haven't really found a food that uh, m you know messes with me or jacks me up in any way or makes me nauseous. Um, I haven't had to throw up anything because of that. I'm very cautious again of what I'm eating, and you know I contribute that to being able to track my foods as best as possible. Um, as far as exercise is concerned, it's picked up uh, a little bit from, from what it first was. It, I was just so tired. I wasn't getting in the calories. And when I exercised, it took my calories like way down because it does that subtract me. And I uh, wasn't feeling very, very peppy. Um, that's starting to come back a little bit to where uh, I'm actually able to do my 30 minutes on the treadmill, and, you know, burn over 100 calories or whatever. But uh, I'm, I'm waiting to be able to, to get back into um, being able to lift a little bit. Um, I kind of like to lift, and I'll have to increase my protein as well, but uh, um, eating the chicken really helped out a lot. It's very difficult to try to track that, um, but I do the best I can. Um, let's see what else. My stitches, for some reason, I've got, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but on my stitches, like right here on this one, I got like a, or my incisions, I have a stitch that sticks out here or something. I think the same way with this one too, but... I don't know if anybody else has that, if that's typical or whatever. And I assume they're supposed to be those ones that would absorb um, uh, into the body or whatever, you know, basically like the cat gut or the cortex or whatever kind that they have. But they're still there. It's a very tough one, very strong, uh, very thick stitch like. So um, if anybody else has had that, let me know if that's something that you had for a couple weeks and fell out. But uh, let's see. What else do I got? Um, a full signal. I just can't find it. Um, you know, I think I feel full and, um, you know, I'm looking at like I didn't eat very much, but I feel full. So I just, or I don't feel full, but I think I might, I'm not for sure. Uh, so I just kind of stop. Now, as the days last week has been, I'm starting to notice when I do feel full, but no signal happens. I don't get the runny nose. Um, I have hiccups, intermittent hiccups all throughout the day. So it's hard to, um, decipher which one has to do with, because it's what I'm eating. Like I, this morning I ate some breakfast and... You know, nothing. Uh, no, no, no hiccups, no coughs, no burps, no nothing like that. So it's difficult for me to tell um, other than just feeling full. And then when I feel full, I feel like I probably overdid a little bit. It doesn't feel sickening. It's not uncomfortable. It just feels like I only need to have a little burp or something like that. But so not a real good, uh, not a real good, uh, you know, shining signal that says, hey, stop eating. Uh, let's see. Liquids have been doing good. I've been getting in quite a bit of um, fluids and stuff, which is great. Um, so I've been feeling good. I haven't felt nauseous. Um, like I said, the weakness is going away, so I'm starting to feel a little bit stronger. I've been able to do things, um, you know, houseworks and and uh, you know a little bit of yard stuff, and just you know I went back to work uh, two weeks now. Um, and everything feels good there. There's a couple of days where I felt pretty tired, and I just you know I lay my head down and just kind of not really cat nap, but just just rest for a second. And, and generally, I make it through the day. But again, I do have a sit-down job, so it makes it pretty easy. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was uh, easier for me than I thought. I went to my parents' house. You know, they cooked up the regular fixings, or close to regular fixings. They had some ham. Uh, Mom cooked some good ham. And, and they had noodles and things of that nature. And, of course, there was pumpkin pie, and there was all kind of other pies. But uh, I actually took along some uh, chicken that I got from Walmart. It's one of those rotisserie chickens where they, they fully cook it. And uh, I would pull, I take the skin off, and I pull off the, the chicken. Uh, it usually, it usually comes out very moist, and I thought that'd be a real good. Uh, when I was first starting to reintroduce uh, some meats in, I thought that'd be a good um, moist meat that I could slowly start on. So, anyways, I took that with me to my Thanksgiving, so that way I could eat on it. And I had a little bit of the gravy, or it's like a turkey gravy or something that I would put over just to help it out a little bit more. Um, and that went down great. I mean, I chewed it, I chewed the death out of it tell it was just a paste um, and then uh, everything it sat really really well um, sometimes I can chew and chew real good and swallow and I can feel it kind of just a little bit dis discomfort and you know it's gone um, almost just like it's kind of sliding down or something and, and, and everything's good there 
Um, so it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Um, I, uh, I did end up trying a small piece of, uh, literally a pumpkin pie that was that long and probably that high and about yay thick. It wasn't nothing. I mean, it was a sliver, if there ever was one. And I put it in my mouth, I started to chew it, but then I could feel the um, the crust part and it started feeling like it was m mashing up like a ball, so I spit it out. Because I didn't want a chance getting anything, uh, any kind of a um, doughy, ball-like stuff. So I just, instead of trying to second guess it or think it'd be okay, I just spit it out. Um, so then, uh, just had my chicken, just had my gravy, um, and that was about it. And, uh, yeah, a little bit, that was a little difficult. I, it was funny because I was looking around at people that were eating stuff and everybody's just scooping it down, you know, and I was like, you know, that was me. That was me once upon a time. But like I told them, I've spent several Thanksgivings where I've devoured food and I would devour the, the sweets and I would just be like, this is my day to eat. But every day was my day to eat. So this was no different, but I'd usually really overeat uh, as most people would. And uh, I didn't this day, but you know, I didn't go home feeling terrible. My stomach wasn't so full like I could puke. Um, I felt pretty good. I was glad I didn't overeat when the time was done. Uh, because when you overeat, you know, and you're done overeating, you got all the pain, discomfort, but no more of the um, good feeling, no more of the good taste. So, but I didn't have that this time, so I was kind of happy about that. It was a little bothersome at first, you know, obviously with everybody else getting to eat and, and me eat, eating down a little bit. And people, you know, they'd kind of look at me and they understood I had the surgery and everything, so they didn't say much. But I just had this little wad, a little wad of food. So um, that was my Thanksgiving, but uh, it was meat. And it was good tasting meat. And it was good moist meat. So I was, I was appreciative for it. Um, I have found that I don't uh, like the, this protein shakes as much as I did at first. You know, a lot of people have that issue. I can still drink them. In fact, I've got mine here now that I probably need to sip on. But I get the six star. So I get at Walmart. You get a four pack, 20 grams of protein. It's like 4.88 for four packs. Price good. It tastes uh, better than the rest of them do. But I just had them too much. So. I need to try some other protein things, but I really haven't dug into it. I've been trying to get my protein from some uh, food resources. I try to get my proteins first and, you know, move on from there. So I've been really trying to work at being, um, you know, wise and in, in, in not my food selection so much, but what comes first. And, and that's not really that difficult. It's a very easy rule to follow. Um, but, you know, no sweets and stuff. Uh, I don't remember if I said my weight or not. 282 is where I started at. I didn't even tell you what I'm at now. Yeah, I did. And yeah, I did. I told you. I'm, I'm off my rocker. But anyway, so that's about 40 pounds, a little bit over 40 pounds that has been going on. Surgery, when we went in, was 258. And so if I'm down to about 238, I've lost about 18, uh, 18 pounds, which, you know, for four months would be an average of, I don't know, it's 18, four, four, you know, four pounds or so. And uh, that's perfectly fine. I'm good with that. As long as I can push out two a week, and at the bare minimum, two a week, I'm comfortable as long as it's going down. Been feeling great, been feeling great in my clothes. Haven't wore this shirt in, in, in a long, long time. It's one of those real light, it could be like a workout shirt. It's a very light material and it feels great. It just, it just like you can see, it just hangs on me. You know, so when I'm on the side and stuff, it can just hang on me, but thin enough up top, starting to thin it up down the bottom and on down. So, in fact, today we're gonna go get some britches because uh, I'm gonna be starting a new job after Friday. Uh, closer to home, I think I've talked about that before. But uh, my pants are just, they're too loose and folding on themselves and it almost looks disgusting. So I need to fix something up there. But anyway, um, VSG surgery on the 5th, November 5th. Um, very rough at first, very rough the first three days um, after that. Everything's been doing good. Um, my stomach's been feeling good. I'm sleeping in my bed, thankfully. Um, so things have been going well. been able to get back to eating pretty decent foods. Um, it's now turning winter, so it's so difficult to get outside to do anything. Spring will be around the corner. I'll be able to get out and test some things. I like to ride bicycles. I like, we've got a Katy trail here that I like to ride. Uh, it's very nice. So that's the update for now. It's getting close to 15 minutes and I've rambled long enough and can't think of anything I haven't mentioned. So if you got any questions or anything, let me know. Otherwise, this is chronicling the end of week four, about a month out from it, fixing it to um, run on it about to week five starting Tuesday. So anyway, we'll talk to you guys another, another time.